Do you know the show Sid the Science Kid? If not, Kid Sid the Science Kid is a PBS show for kids. It's about a boy named Sid and his friends Gabriella, May, and Gerald. They go to school and their teacher, Teacher Susie, teaches them about science. For an example, in Season 1, Episode 4, the episode titled My Ice Pops, Teacher Susie teaches the kids how liquids can freeze and melt. Anyway, this happened to me when I was younger. I don't know how old I was exactly, but I think I was around between 7 and 10 years old. It all started on a normal day. I was on my iPad watching YouTube videos. After watching a video, I saw something that caught my eye. It was a video titled with the thumbnail of Sid the Science Kid, but he looked really weird. He was looking up at something, but his pupils and his eyes were very small. On the right side of the thumbnail, it said, Lost Episode. Being young and curious kid I was, I clicked on it. I don't think I even knew what a lost episode was. However, since I saw Sid and I liked the show Sid the Science Kid, my young and curious little mind thought, Hey, click on that. Let me explain the episode. The episode started without an intro. It didn't even show the show's logo. While the usual music played in the background, it faded in and showed Sid's kitchen. The camera showed the entrance to Sid's kitchen, and Sid came in the kitchen while whistling. He looked at the camera while waving and he said, Oh hi, I'm Sid. Sid then started to jump up and down in excitement while saying, And I have lots and lots of questions. He looked over and saw his mom and dad in the kitchen. Then he said, Oh mom, there's mom and dad. I always ask them questions and today I have a really big question. Even though the episode just started, I was enjoying it so far. Sid then turned to his parents and said, Hey mom, hey dad. Hey buddy, Sid's dad replied. I have one important question, Sid said. I want to know, where did I come from? Oh, um, um... His dad said, Where did you come from? He started to get nervous and walked over to Sid's mom and said, Uh, Alice, expecting her to help explain. Oh, um, um, yeah, said Sid's mom, while Sid starts to nod his head and while waiting for his parents to answer his question. Well, we might as well tell him the truth, said Sid's mom. Yeah, Sid's dad whispered again, agreeing with Sid's mom in her decision. Sid's mom then put her hands on her knees and then got lower to Sid's level. While she did this, she said, I'll tell you what, Sid. She then pointed to the wall where the counter was and there was a question box. You walk right through that wall, you'll find out where exactly you came from. Sid had a very confused look on his face. What? He said. Then he turned to the camera and said, Mom and Dad finally totally lost it. Sid's dad heard him say that and started to walk over the counter. He waited there and said, No, no, really you can't do it. Just go uh, into the wall and ask yourself your big question. Here, look, Sid's dad had reached his arm on the wall and started to go through it. Sid was surprised. While jumping a little from excitement, he said, Whoa, that's totally cool. Okay, well, let me try. Sid walked into the counter and also started to go through it. He then turned around and while his voice echoed and said, Oh, this is weird, but it's awesome. Okay, bye. He then turned around and walked past the wall entirely. Sid's parents waved and then good said goodbye to Sid. It then cut to the inside of an office-looking area. The camera showed a blank white wall. Sid came through the white wall and then saw what was in his ro the room. He was a little surprised. Whoa, he said, while stepping back a little. The camera then cut to a bunch of people. They were both men and women. They were all sitting in chairs and looking at computers, however. They weren't animated or in the style of the show. They were real humans like you and me. When they heard Sid's voice, they all turned around. Some of them even waved at him. While they said did this, they all said an illusion. Hi, Sid. The camera cut back to Sid. Oh, hey, um, hi. Sid said nervously while laughing at the end. He started to walk closer to where they were and said, Um, so... Do you guys know where I came from? He then laughed again. One of the guys that was closest to him say, Yes, why yes we do. Oh, said Sid, his eyes wind with interest. The camera then faded to a little statue of Sid and his friends made out of that day play. You see, Sid, the man started. You started as a chunk of clay, 
when it was sculpted into what you look like. Wow, said Sid. The miracle of science. The camera then showed the computer screen with Sid's body shape on it. Then, the man continued, your clay form was scanned into a super high tech device known as a computer. Wow, said Sid, while you walked out in the office and looked around. At which at that point you become a series of zeros and ones, said the man. Wow, I really feel loved, said Sid, while looking around the room again. And finally you officially became the digital puppet, said the man. And now your every movement is controlled by world famous puppeteers, bodysuit performers. What? said Sid while scratching his head. And now, the man continued, our highly trained staff of digital puppet scientists shall explain the fascinating and easy to understand and the technical side of digital property. Okay, said Sid Wall, confused. There was a lot of the rest of the science, and they just talked about how they made Sid and about how they put him in the show, about how they made him move and how they did his voice and more. Sid was starting to get a little bored. I was as well. After a few moments of them talking, Sid decided that he wanted to get out of here. Okay, um, said Sid. The camera then cut back to men and women in chairs. Well, good luck with all that stuff you just said, Sid continued. I, um, will be going now. He then laughed nervously. Bye, he shouted, before turning around and started running towards the white wall where he came from. It then cuts back to Sid's kitchen. His mom and dad were waiting for him. Sid quickly came out from the counter with a scared look on his face. He was also out of breath. Hey, look who's back, said Sid's dad. What do you think, son? Sid was very afraid. I never want to go back into that world again. I don't even want to think about it. Oh, you won't have to, Sid's mom said, while she and Sid's dad both put sunglasses. Yeah, said Sid's dad. Uh, have a take a look right here. Then he put some sort of stick out in front of Sid and pointed the top of it. Okay, Sid said nervously. The top of the stick, when it rose, made a beeping noises. It then cuts back to his parents. The screen then flashed two times in a row, and then it cut back to Sid. Sid stepped back while his pupils and eyes shrank. This is what I saw in the thumbnail. The usual background music began to play again. Sid's eyes started to go back to normal when he closed his eyes and shook his head. While Sid's parents started to take off their sunglasses, Sid said, Okay, I'm ready to start my day. He said his usual excited voice. Can I go play with my friends? He asked. Sure, sweetie, said Sid's mom. Yay, Sid said. While bouncing with excitement, he turned around and almost ran into the counter where he came out of from. Oops, he yelled out. I almost ran into the counter. Then he walked the other way out of the kitchen. While he walked out of the kitchen, Sid's parents looked at each other and laughed. They then went back to what they were doing before. Sid came into the kitchen and it faded to a white screen with the show's logo in the middle of it. The episode then ended without any credits. It just ended with the Jim Henson logo. I was kind of confused after watching the episode, so I got a little scared. I closed out the video and went back to watching YouTube videos. I didn't want to tell my parents about it because I didn't feel like telling them about the episode. I just hope that maybe I'll forget about that episode. A few years went by and I was now 12 years old. The episode did not leave my memory. I decided to go search it up on YouTube to see if it was still on it. And after some years, I searched it up. Sid the Science Kid, the lost episode. And to my surprise, the episode was still on YouTube. It was the first video that popped up. However, something was different. The thumbnail was different from when I saw when I was younger. This time it showed Sid talking to his parents. No shrunken pupils, no text by it. The thumbnail just showed Sid talking to his parents. I guess the original video was deleted. I clicked on the episode and watched it, since I was younger back then and my memory wasn't that good yet. I didn't remember that many parts of the episode. The parts I do remember were the people telling Sid on how he was made, and his parents flashing light in his face. Since I was older, I understood what had happened in the episode better than I was younger. Sid's parents wiped his memory with that flash of light. I then realized they did the exact same thing in the movie Men in Black. They used that stick in the movie to wipe people's memories. I was confused. Why was that episode made? Why did PBS approve of this? If any kid watches the episode, they'd be even confused. Especially even if they haven't seen the movie. It was rated for older people, like PG-13.
To this day, I still wonder why this episode was made. Who at PBS made this? And who, how did the person upload the video to YouTube to find it? I guess I'll never know.